tutorial on how to connect. This is a Promethean. This is actually an Active Panel 5. So the Active Panel 5 and 6 are very similar to each other. Um, most teachers do like to hook up a device so that they can utilize Windows with this board. So I'll show you today how to connect the CPU to the board so that you're able to use it and go back and forth between the CPU and the tablet version of this board. So you can see here I have the CPU. So I'm gonna turn the board to the back so you guys can see. If I would like to connect it, here's my CPU. It's already plugged up and turned on. Most of these boards come with the wires already connected and tied to your board. Please do not remove those. This helps you guys not lose these important cores, HDMI, and USB connections that you need. So that's why they're all zip tied. So it makes it easy for you to connect your board each year as you return. So for this particular PC, I need a HDMI and a USB for touch. So I'm gonna plug this to the back of the CPU. So right here, notice on the back of the CPU, people confuse this all of the time. You have the HDMI, says HDMI, then you have your display cable. They kind of look very similar. So people confuse those all of the time. I'm gonna use the HDMI to plug it to my board. Then I'm gonna plug this USB for touch. And then I'm gonna go around to the front of my board. The system should have detected that I placed a new device here. And you can see it's now switched over to Windows. And just like with your desktop, you can plug a mouse and keyboard here so that you're able to use this and get the full function of it. So this is if you would like to add a CPU to your Promethean panel, you definitely can by following those steps.